Hello my darlings. This video will review how to set up a Lightroom catalog on an external hard drive. You should have received a handout in class that covers this information. It is also linked below. If you haven't already formatted your external hard drive for Macintosh lab environment, please do so now. That handout is also linked below. Let's get started. First plug in your portable hard drive. I've already done so. It's right here on the desktop and it's named Porter. Number two on the handout, double click on your drive icon. You're going to create two folders inside your external hard drive. You're going to go to File, New Folder, and then File, New Folder. You're going to name the first one LR6 underscore catalogs, and you're going to name the second one images. Now the handout recommends that you name it images. I like to add the year for my organizational purposes. All right. So we have our two folders. Number four, launching Lightroom. So go to Applications, find Adobe Lightroom, and double click Adobe Lightroom. One of two things may have happened depending on your machine. A, the program automatically uses the default catalog on your machine, which has happened here, Lightroom Catalog.LRCAT, or the program will ask you to find and create a new catalog. If this happens, click the Create New button since that's what we're going to be doing anyway, and then proceed to step five. Now in this scenario, what you're going to want to do is come up to File, New Catalog. And here we are at number five. A window will pop up requiring you to name your catalog and tell the application where to save it. Where you save your catalog is absolutely crucial. You should put this inside the folder that was named Lightroom Catalog. So first, find your drive and you will see your two folders here. Where you put your catalog is absolutely crucial. You should put it here in the LR6 underscore catalogs. Now you're going to want to name this. We recommend that you name it your last name underscore photo underscore 50 and it has to go here. So once you've done that, let's double check. We're in our drive. We've got the LR6 catalogs highlighted blue and we've named it your last name underscore photo 50. And we click create. And then Lightroom will close and reopen. What you're looking for and every single time you open up Lightroom is your name photo 50.lr catalogs up here at the top every single time. If you don't see that, more than likely you're going to be on the computer in the lab and you don't want that at all. To ensure that you're always in your Lightroom catalog on your hard drive, I want to show you this little trick. First, I'm going to minimize this window and I'm going to find my drive. So I'm back to my drive and I'm going to click on catalogs. I'm going to click on Porter. Inside this folder, you can see all this information that Lightroom put together. Honestly, you don't want to touch it. You don't really need to know anything about it. But what you do need to know is every time that you open up Lightroom, that you want to open it by double clicking this here. Your last name underscore 50 dot L R C A T. So to ensure that what I like to do, click on that, go up to file, click on the red button. Basically what we're going to be doing is creating a breadcrumb trail for you. So photo and I'm right clicking and here. So when you open up your drive, you will see the red, just follow the red dots. Double click it, opens up Lightroom and there's your name right there. I would like to add one more helpful hint. After you've created your catalog, it might be helpful to put the images 2017 inside the LRC catalog. So you know those images go with that particular catalog. All right, so that is setting up a Lightroom catalog on your external hard drive. Take care.